Welcome to the tutorial on Google Analytics. EcomChain provides web analytics reporting on your online store. This data will help administrators in making intelligent business and marketing decisions. To begin, create a Google Analytics account and sign into it. Navigate to admin and create a new account for your web store. Once you are signed in to Google Analytics, enter the account name for your web store. Enter a website name which needs to be tracked. Here we used EcomChain, but you can use one that suits you best. Enter the website URL which needs to be tracked. Select the industry category for the web store. Select the time zone for your business. After entering all the information, click on Get Tracking ID button. Google Analytics will then generate a tracking ID for that website. Take note of this tracking ID. Go to Admin in Google Analytics and click on E-commerce settings under View. Turn on Enable e-commerce and Enable related products and click on the Next Step button. Turn on Enhanced e-commerce settings. Create labels for the checkout funnel steps. Create a label with the name Shopping Cart and click the Done button. Similarly, create labels for shipping and billing, order review, and order confirmation. Click on the Submit button. Next, log in to EcomChain and navigate to the dashboard. In the left-hand toolbar, click Reports, then Google Analytics. This page shows all of the sites created with a tracking ID. To create a tracking ID, select the site and enter the tracking ID provided by Google Analytics. You can turn tracking on and off for a particular site by selecting the Activate or Deactivate button. To access the data collected by Google Analytics, navigate back to the dashboard and click on Access Google Analytics. This screen shows countries, cities, number of new users and browsers where it has been accessed. If an account has multiple sites, property could be created for each site. Sites can be switched through the property drop-down to select information relevant to that site. View can be used for filtering the data which we are getting from analytics. Here we are displaying data. It will also show the number of audience by sessions as well as transaction and product details. This concludes the tutorial on Google Analytics.